Hello, welcome back to another video. This is going to be a short video. I'm just going to show something that um, I would have trouble with. And it's trying to do these little inset extrusions on like um, something like this or just in general. I've found a, a workaround that I kind of like. And I just thought I'd share for a quick example. Let's go ahead and turn off some of the stuff. Uh, we'll turn this off. Turn, we'll keep that up. Uh, put that to transparent and we'll leave that off so what I do is and it's kind of a weird tricky workaround but I'm going to select the cylinder and get the color just right let me just pick what I already had okay the other thing you're going to need is to go into your settings I'm going to put this here if it'll stay in your grid keep coming back to that grid it works um, it's not perfect but it works so uh, when I create my sphere if I can get it in the center like I said it's not perfect there you go now we can edit it I'll turn this off and it's kind of a back it'd be cool if you could do hotkeys I'm gonna go ahead and squeeze it the way it was real similar and this is my reference I found it online it just that last video I did I, I just grabbed some examples and, and I was like that looks fun let's do it uh, so uh, how do you do it in here that's that's the question for me so we're gonna convert this so now we have this and a lot of times you're trying to squeeze things in and I've seen videos where they would grab um, the face the whole, whole face and they would go and squeeze it in and keep it very still uh, that kind of works uh, the other way that I like to do is you turn on the grid so now we can actually uh, go in here and grab these and if we want we can actually turn this up to where this grid is a little bit more refined and let's grab those bottom ones so I can grab it all so now when I grab it, it's snapped, and if I can keep it my hand steady. Now I have a center point, I can do it too. I think I made the thing too small, let's them do this. Um, about 10. I think you gotta work within reason, right? The other the other method I was doing is, is doing a slice, but this is just one example. that. Uh, squeeze it in and then you can lock this in and snap it back up or whatever and align it a little bit better but now you have at least a, a cleaner cut the other method was going in turning off my grid edit it go in here I even did a cut in the middle so what I can do is go in here grab that extrusion line I'm pulling the trigger here so you can actually see that release pull trigger and it gets all of it so now if I turn on that that's how I got the other one it's it's not perfect this is a real weird <laughs> workflow but it works for me and maybe I can get a little bit smaller grid but let's gra grab this so now when I grab it I can actually use this top I'm trying to show you an example that now it's easy look at that easier to push and pull so now going here grab that grab that edge and do the same now I can actually squeeze this in to where I can now do cuts on the on the thing but now I can actually get a little kind of a bevel curve on there that makes it a little bit more uh, to my liking we can turn this on to uh, it smooth and turn this off and actually start getting in more cuts to some hard cuts in there if we want to cut inside uh, now there was another one where let's turn on the grid and let's turn this off so we can see it a little better uh, do it again try to make this bigger pull the trigger you can grab all of them so let's do it again trigger now when I grab it we can do inset or let's see if I can do the this is kind of hard because when you do it Let's see if I can do it. Because what I'm trying to do is 
grab this face and I'm gonna need more I need more cowbell so this is a little tricky I did do it on the other one but it's it was kind of hard to do because what this is what I'm trying to do and it looks like I already extruded it so it's not reading uh, so let's reverse just enough all right let's do it again uh, without this and because sometimes when you do it you're extruding and you're you're going back and forth so let's so now if I grab this I can pull it out right and it snaps so let's grab it with the snap and we're gonna pull it but we're gonna do this and then we're gonna inset it you see that little toggle on the top I'm trying not to move this is tricky but there you go you got a clean cut extrusion back um, quick trick that uh, I've been trying to work I love this program but there's there's a lot of little things so I'm just like come on I, I need a I need to get back to my my, my standard of way of modeling in here because I, I love doing it in VR but sometimes there's there's just uh, a little bit of that how do we do this let's let's sit down and, and examine what's going on and doing the same thing even in so little trick uh it could work with this uh let's see i did do it with the bottom when i did the square so when i grabbed it i turned on the grid and you can grab the square let's edit it and now i can scale it evenly just don't move your hand uh, that's kind of tricky uh, to do the other thing is that you can let's do this let's try an example let's get let's get in there and trigger nope make bigger trigger and let's grab it extrude it and you can do it slightly you gotta keep my hand steady let's see if it'll work make sure I didn't do nothing weird and there you go extrusion Ta -da. so it seems to work um, as long as you're willing to keep your hand steady you can see the cut you just the only thing that's tricky for me is that you got back and forth so probably just keep this next to you and just kind of use it as a little like you know turn it on turn it off turn it on turn it off your grid density is gonna make a difference on how much it uh, snaps to but at least it keeps you from trying to do the other methods where I would see uh, we would try to extrude out and it would be like uh, you know a little bit harder to keep your hand steady I don't like keeping head my hand steady I want to snap to something because accuracy in 3d is a big key factor in doing anything once you get to a final product if you're gonna use this for something and so I just wanted to share this hopefully this helps thanks for watching